If I could only keep three handbags in my collection, which ones would it be and why? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In case you're new, I'm Iris and I make videos about fashion beauty, but mainly designer handbags. So if you love any of these subjects, please do me a huge favor by subscribing and let's get to the video. So last year I created this video surviving with three handbags and I know the title is a bit shocking I mean it is for me because honestly I don't know if I could survive with three handbags I don't know about you but I know for me it would be a little hard a little hard because I like to have variety for every occasion and mood depending you know on my mood so honestly this is a hard topic so i decided to recreate this video this year and i thought it would be really interesting to see what my choices would be if i really had to only keep three handbags in my collection also this time i decided to make it a tag video because I find it very interesting to see what my fellow YouTubers would choose if they could only keep three handbags in their collection. So go grab a snack, get really comfortable, and let's get to the bags. you guys so the very first bag that i would keep in my collection if i could only keep three would be any guesses any any guesses well that would be the small puffer in dark natural color and you guys this bag let's take a little moment to appreciate this beauty the reason why this one would be one of my first choices is very simple this bag when i first bought it i thought i made a bad choice i thought i should have gone with a beige one instead of this color and i was a little on the fence like i thought i was gonna sell it and i was just like going back and forth i listed it a couple times on my push mark and i listed this one on ebay as well and i unlisted the bag just because this is the bag that started growing on me little by little and it has grown so much you guys on me it's ridiculous I have to say this is the biggest bag in my collection and maybe that's why I love it so much because most of my bags are very tiny, they're mini bags and this one is very big and roomy and at the same time it's very comfortable, it's very lightweight, you can fit tons in this bag and even though it fits so much the bag never gets heavy and I love that. So. I really like that and also the color now I know I didn't make a wrong choice because the color is very versatile is very very nice I compare this with like neutrals and I don't know it's just the color that I've been finding very functional in my wardrobe and honestly I have zero zero regrets not to mention the leather is very beautiful it's lambskin leather and as of now the bag is in perfect condition like you know you hear these terrible stories of the corners getting peeled very easily and this one has no it has no wear and tear and i use it a lot like i said she's my biggest bag in my collection which makes it very practical because during the week I'm in a hurry and I like to carry my bottles of water, my essentials and a little extra things that I need. So this is the perfect bag to carry and she's very, very lovely. Definitely the bag that grew on me. The next bag I would keep in my collection if I could only keep three. Any guesses? 
Well, I'm sure you guys have a very good idea about this one because I rave about this bag all the freaking time. And that is my medium Kate from Saint Laurent in the crema soft color. And you guys, look at this beauty. I know, I know. I, I rave about this one all the time and I know it can get a little boring, but I cannot lie. I cannot lie, you guys. This bag is just one of my favorites and honestly, seriously, if I could only keep one handbag, one in my collection. And I know these are very strong words that I'm gonna say, but I think it would be this one, you guys. Yes, yes. This bag, I don't know, it's it's very beautiful to my eyes. And it is a modern classic and it is iconic and timeless. And you have like three bags in one because you can wear this bag in so many different ways. You can, you can cross body the bag and you can wear it as a long shoulder bag. And you can also wear it as a double shoulder bag and cross body as well. If you want more of a, I don't know, more of a casual look, this is a great way to go. So you guys, what else can I ask for? Honestly, I know this bag <laughs> is something that I'm probably annoying you guys with, but she is one of my favorites and the fact that she's white you guys know a white handbag is just my best friend so she's my bestie and i love this one and i know i just said very strong words but this bag you guys i love it so much i had it because i bought it first a couple years ago and then i sold it and I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't take it no more. I kept thinking and thinking about the bag and I just repurchased this one. So yeah, this is one of my favorites. And all right, you guys. So my next and last bag comes at no surprise. And I'm sure you're a little suspicious about this one. I'm not sure though, if you know, you know, but Oh well, let's reveal. This is her second consecutive year in this video actually. And that is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 20 bandolier with a jacket strap. And you guys, all I have to say is that this is Louis Vuitton greatest creation in my eyes. Like seriously, I was always a huge fan of the Speedy. But when the Speedy 20 came out, I was just shocked, like shocked. I, I thought this was like the greatest creation ever. And this is perfection. Speedy 20 equals perfection. And this bag looks super cute. Even though it looks a little small, you can fit so much so so much you guys it is maybe a little tiny but you can fit your life in it okay actually that was a little exaggerated i take that back you cannot fit your life in this bag <laughs> okay you can fit a lot though you can fit a lot because even though it's small and i have the organizer right here like I said, even though it's small, it's mighty, it's a very nice bag. You, It has a lot of capacity, you guys. And not to mention, like, the looks of it are great. I love it. It's cute. It's adorable. And you can fit all of your essentials and maybe a little extra. And honestly, if I could only live with three bags, she would definitely be one of them and one thing is for sure about the speedy 20 i want to add more of these bags to my collection i still don't know which other one do i want because 
I really want the the one from the Doom collection, but that one is sold out in the Louis Vuitton website right now. And it's been sold out, sold out. And last time I was at the Louis Vuitton store, they told me there was only like 20 left in the country. And this was like two months ago. So they're gone. And I, I've been looking in the pre-love market. I found two, but they're a little overpriced. So I'm not gonna buy them like at 3,000 or 3,500. I'm just gonna wait to see if the bag becomes available again. And if it doesn't, my second choice would be the Demir Eben print one, because that one is also rocking my boat. So yeah, the Speedy 20 is definitely a bag that I do want to repeat, because like I said, I wasn't gonna repeat like the same bag in different colors or, you know, prints. This one will be an exception. Like I don't mind owning the Speedy 20 in various colors and and yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you so very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got to the end. Please guys, support my channel by subscribing. It is free, it doesn't cost you any money. And that would help me a lot as a small content creator. Also, I'm going to tag some lovely ladies because I also want to support other channels as well. I want them to show me their picks, their choices. I would love, love to see. And also, if I didn't tag you and you want to do this video because you just like the idea of it, go ahead and do it yourself. Anyways, thank you so much and see you on the next video. Bye.